What's up, Wilton? My name is Alex Kay, and this is Warrior Sports Week on Good Morning Wilton. The spring season is upon us, and we're going to start our coverage with the features of two teams that made deep postseason runs last season. That would be girls lacrosse and baseball. We're going to start out on Christine Lilyfield at the turf for the Warriors uh, game against North Shore that they had. The girls lacrosse team took them on this past week. Let's see how they performed in this game. Wilton started off strong in this one, and it was some pretty nice weather for Warrior Lacrosse. The first two goals being scored by senior Addison Patillo, the second assisted by junior Georgia Polito. Here a goal by Allie Phelan, and then a goal by Ashley Masterson here, assisted by Patillo, and then a second goal from Masterson coming up. Wilton won this one by a score of 18-2. It really was not close throughout, but the Warriors really showed their passing skills and their team chemistry down the stretch of this one. Excellent win for them and we'll see how they do later in the season. The girls lacrosse team really never disappoints. A very dominant win for them in that one. Now keeping with the really nice spring weather to start out the season we're going to head to the baseball diamond for the Warriors game they had against Weston this past Saturday. Let's see how they did. The Warriors came into this one having only scored one run in their last game. And I assure you that was not the case in this one. They were looking for the win, but also looking to jumpstart their offense. And through the second inning, the bottom of the second, the Warriors were really on fire at their home field. Wilton here had a eight-run inning in the second, and they scored two more in the third. It was a spectacular day for the Wilton hitters, and the Weston pitchers really could not find an answer through those two innings for the Warriors. Excellent early start for them. Multiple runs driven in here. This final one was driven in by senior Michael Fischetti. Here, the left-handed hitter hit to center field. Excellent for the Warriors. And they jumped out to an early lead. However, the game was not over. This was one of the highest scoring baseball games of the Warriors season. And it's just a young season. I doubt they will surpass this mark. Weston got on the board early and often, too starting in the third inning and continuing through the fourth, fifth, sixth, and the seventh and final inning for Weston. Weston was able to put up a total of 21 runs on the day. That was a lot for them, but Wilton answered back with 14. The Warriors lost by this score, 21 to 14. Excellent day for Wilton, but despite the loss, they were able to cure some of their scoring woes from the previous game. Although they lost, it's still a good sign for the Warriors that their offense was able to get back on track. That was one of the highest scoring baseball games that I've ever seen in my entire life. Really, even though the Warriors lost that one, it was still an exciting game to be at. And I'm excited to see how the Wilton baseball team does uh, down the stretch of this season. Hopefully they can pick up some wins and get into postseason play again like last year where they had a lot of success. This has been Warrior Sports Week on Good Morning Wilton. Very excited to kick off the spring coverage for 2024. My name is Alex Kay, signing off.